5T keeps much of the 5's internal hardware, including the processor, battery and headphone jack, which is becoming so endangered these days. But the screen and camera are what changed most. The 5T 6-inch AMOLED display now takes up most of the phone face and OnePlus swapped out the 20-megapixel telephoto lens on its dual camera, replacing it with a lens for low light. Incremental updates have quickly become the OnePlus way. In just four years, this Chinese brand has whipped up a fervent global cult following, based on undercutting the costlier competition. And while the OnePlus 5T isn't as cheap as the first OnePlus flagship in 2014, when it was $299, or about £180 and $320 Australian dollars converted, it's still affordable. The most noticeable and really only in the inciting difference between the OnePlus 5 and 5T is the 5T's larger display, which now measures 6 inches instead of 5.5. Because the bezels are thinner, the 5T's physical size remains relatively the same. On paper, it is a few millimeters taller and thicker, and about 0.3 ounces, 9 grams, heavier, but I didn't notice a difference in my hand. The iPhone X made Face Unlock a thing with Face ID, which sprays your mug with harmless infrared lights to map out your features and prove that you are you. But not all Face Unlocking is created equally, and OnePlus 5T admits that its new feature isn't all that secure, at least not secure enough for mobile payments.